10 years from now, we are gonna pack this stadium. We are gonna have a 50 or 60 member band. We're gonna have drums blast and start to finish. This league is going to be seen just as, as prominently as any men's team that you can name. This is just the beginning for women's soccer in the NWSL. I'm Carly Lloyd, and I've spent most of my life flying around the world playing soccer. What a stutter of a goal! Every destination teaching me something new about the game and life. And now, I'm happy to be traveling across the U.S. with Delta Airlines as we explore the cities that define the NWSL. It's a journey that showcases the culture, the fans, and the players that kept this league soaring in its first 10 years, and will continue to in the future. This is 10 Years in Climbing. Thanks for flying Delta. I think Seattle has a pretty unique vibe, obviously surrounded by beautiful mountains. You've got the water, really good food. It's a really fun Northwest city. Meg Linehan knows soccer. As one of the league's top journalists, she's got her finger on the pulse of all things NWSL. I'm excited to get her take on Olivia and Bethany, two of Rain's most exciting young players. What do you think the team's greatest strengths are as one of the original teams? We have three players who are originals and they kind of are the backbone of this team and we rely on them a lot for strength. And they, along with that, are also helping us young players to come up and be that strength that the team needs. You kind of just come into this team and you know what the culture is, you fit into it, you just feed off of that. What has it been like to play at Lumen? Every time we score, I get chills because it's just incredible. I'll never forget the first game there when we walked out and you just see the support and then you hear the support the entire game. And I think that's a testament to the fans and the atmosphere that they create for us. What is it like having the team here as a local who knows this region? Yeah. What is that relationship between this as a place and the culture of the team. I just think we have such a strong fan base and just like support and love from our fans that we really appreciate. I'm indebted to this place. It's helped me grow so much as a human being. When you can unite with a city like our team has, you're gonna be stronger together. It's clear that the rain's biggest strength is its fan base and they are ready to get loud. In late 2015, I discovered the joy of women's soccer and went to my first rain game and found that the crowd was very quiet. And I thought, but it doesn't have to be this way. Rain City Riot started as just a small drum line of maybe six or seven people who were volunteering at the games. And then over time, we had more and more people and we've just continued to grow year after year. I'm so excited to be a part of this team because, well, they've wrapped our arms around us and we in turn get to wrap our arms around them. Meg and I are heading to the match on one of Seattle's most iconic forms of transit. When you see the city from this angle, you really feel the strength of the natural landscape. Kind of been interesting to see the rain yeah. stepping up their game a little bit. I don't know, do you see them kind of being this dominant force that can win a championship? We saw them dominate for a couple of years in the early end of the cell. They maybe fall off the radar a little bit. And now I think we're starting to see a cohesive identity. You have these players who can instill the culture of the team from 2013, and that feels really rare in the NWSL, and that's something that we're not going to have much longer. You know, you've played in this league, right? You've experienced all these teams and all these venues and, and playing against all of these players, but what has it been like to take this step back? I feel like I'm actually viewing it. Like, it sounds funny, but I just feel like when I played, I had so much tunnel vision, you know, and it was just about uh, what was needed for that particular game. You kind of blocked out the noise, blocked out the crowd. I'm actually kind of getting to embrace a little bit more of the dynamics of, of all the different NWSL teams. There is this kind of real common thread throughout every, you know, every single supporter is here to support the NWSL and their team, but there's always something 
a little different about each place. The fans and supporters are the 12th man. There's that extra edge, that extra gear that you get from them, from what you feel, and you just feed off of that. So it's an integral part of this league. And for me, it's, it's nice to be able to capture that, you know, coming into these cities. Seattle has shown me an exciting future for the NWSL. This city is all in, from the players, to the fans, to the stadium. As the NWSL continues into its second decade with OL Reign as NWSL Shield winners, I have a feeling Seattle will continue to be a big part of its story. <laughs>